Welcome guys to a brand new video. I'm going to be teaching you guys how to get good at Brawl Stars. And you're like, how am I supposed to teach you how to get good? I'll give you some tips how professional players play. First things first, I'm going to teach and tell you first things. So, all you have to do real quick one thing is... can watch professional players playing and then and there's another thing I'm gonna make it teach you guys is how to play gem grab well and how you can play brawl ball and then the part two I'll tell you how to play um showdown and then I'm gonna teach you how to play hot zone and then Part three, I'm going to teach you how to play Heist and Siege, and then that's it. So let's just dive right into this video. Let's get it. Okay, first things first with Gem Grab. Stay back and try to pick off enemy's health. Try to be a long range brawler, not usually a short range. Because short range, then you can't do loads of damage from far range. When usually in the in gem grab, you want to stay far and attack them before they can go up and get those gems. Because if you make them low or you kill them, you have all the time. You get like 10 seconds to get the gems. And all you really need is 5. And the respawn time is 5 seconds. Maybe in 15 seconds they can come, They have to take. Until they can come back and get the gems or attack you. So that's why, the long ring, that's why you stay back and pick their health off like this. I'm just attacking him these people like crazy staying back and then attacking like this like that poke is rushing us when you're supposed to really stay back so that's tip number one stay back in tip number two for gem grab is usually just play a long range brawler if you're not good with long range brawlers just practice and practice with them when until you get good with them just practice until you get good and then you're probably gonna get better at brawl stars for gem grab so that's all the tips that I really have for gem grab. So then now we're gonna hop right into Brawl Ball, teaching you how you should play Brawl Ball. Before we get into the match, you should probably, when you're playing Brawl Ball, oh wait, before you get into that tip, you make sure every single time before you play a match of anything, and showdown, gem grab, brawl ball, hot zone, siege, heist, bounty, and like all of that. Check the map and see what brawlers you should play on it. Like this is a wide map and it's hard for uh, short range brawlers to attack. Okay, for Brawl Ball, it's the same exact thing with Gem Grab. All you have to do is stay back and pick off their health to try to get the ball and score. That's before we get into it. Let me just check out this map, which brawler I should play. This map is looking like an M's. Throwers in this map look good. So, and M's looks very good. And another tip, don't go for the middle. Just try to pick their health off. Try not to go in the middle right away. If you kill everybody, you can try to go for the middle for the ball. And look it, I don't know, my teammates are acting dumb in these enemies. Because look it, they're going in the middle trying to get the ball when you should probably attack 
before you go up for the ball and try to pick off their health. And then when you pick off their health, maybe low, very low, you can probably go in for the ball and then kick, get the ball and then kick it. And then you can um, go up, kill them, and then score. That's simple. Look at my team work together attacking and staying back and making, picking off their health. And then we scored. Look at we're my teammate just acting dumb, but he just got lucky with the the goal. I'm gonna play one more match of brawl ball to show you how you should play. And another tip: if you wanna get like, I know it's cool and stuff to do trick shots in brawl ball, like. What I mean by trick shots, hitting the ball off of like right here and then hitting it into goal. You don't usually do that because then you get very cocky and then they might up killing you, or the enemies killing you, or they save the ball. So don't do that. That just like you get karma sometimes. Like I've tried doing that and. I've tried that like 10 times. I've did it like 10 times. And what the hell's going on in here, bro? Stop. Like you tried, I tried like 10 times and I messed up because they always got the ball back or killed me. Like I got karma. But I did it a couple times, but I don't usually do it because then I die and lose the ball. And they get the ball, and they score. Because they were acting smart and didn't go for a trick shot. Okay, hold on. In this position, you usually kick the ball away, and then you attack. Then. Okay. Okay, that bull is not playing very smart at all. Even though he has loads of health and he can go in the middle, never do that because it doesn't matter what brawler you have, it doesn't matter what amount of HP, and it doesn't matter if you're getting healed by a Byron and a Poco or a mm, uh, any brawler that heals it does not matter don't do that it's giving the other team advantage mm, like an easier chance of getting the ball and scoring on you that's why you don't go in the middle like that after this match it's over Okay, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Make sure you watch part two so you can learn more tips how to get good at Brawl Stars. It's been your boy, Landon, and I'm out.